Out of in here, uh, just got done recording this entire thing and then I had to redo it because it stopped halfway through. So I really, I want to do a review on this, uh, I'm so happy, and then I want to talk about what I think about the 51 and what a lot of people might not realize about the 51, honestly. It's kind of a evil knife in a way. It's a, it's definitely a money taker, but uh, I'll explain that later why I feel like that. Anyway, to the knife, uh, it's a it's a drop. Everybody says it's like, oh, it's a spear point. It's not a spear point. It's a drop point. It's it's obviously a drop point. It has a little tiny swedge on it, right here, very small, good for you know light puncturing. Um, the blade is pretty thin actually. Uh, crowned, the entire thing is crowned. It feels really good. I don't know why they didn't crown this right here too, but you know I haven't had any problems with it. It's whatever. Um, so they crowned the spine, but it didn't crown the end pins. Really didn't. It's I don't know, like they crowned it, but they didn't crown the edges right here. So I can still pinch you and probably draw blood. I don't know for sure. Never happened. Haven't really flipped it a ton to know. But uh, I just know a lot about this knife. <laughs> Anyways, um, it is a tension spring. So like right here. Oh, yeah, actually, I'll get there right here. Like right here. Um, when you're using for your EDC, it makes it feel like a full tang knife. So when you're cutting something, it doesn't pop open and everything. It feels strong. All right. So the only way to get this latch off is just flick it and it comes undone. Okay. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's a good design for an EDC style knife. Uh, it doesn't do that when it's closed. Sadly, I don't know why they could. Maybe I'm sure there's some design issues that they couldn't, you know, stuff stuff that was stopping them. Otherwise, they probably would have did it on both sides. You know. Um, I got the blade ex or HQ exclusive. Here, let me see if I can. Get this thing to focus. There. Blade HQ exclusive. Um, it is supposed to be based off of the original uh, 42 model. Um, it's green G10. And I, I like it. I don't know. I've heard a lot of people. Actually, I called this guy from uh, Tucson uh, when I went there to buy a knife. I, that's where I got my first uh, Boker from. Or not Boker. Uh, Baron Sun Bali Song from. Who was a trainer. Uh, I called him and I was like, hey, I need, I want a knife. What do you guys got down there? And he said, oh, I got a couple, you know, basic. I think he said he had a couple of 6X series. I was not interested. I don't like the 6X, just from what I've heard, you know. Anyway, he said, uh, you know, I recommend, if you don't like 6X, uh, I recommend, you know, the 51. And I said, well, I actually own one. It's really light and it's kind of hard to flip. And he asked which one. I said, Blade Excusive, Exclusive, or Blade HQ Exclusive. And he laughed at me. <laughs> uh, he just kind of, you know... Like a normal thing. I don't know. I like it though. I mean, because you where I'm from. I mean, this looks really. I don't know. It just makes it look less of a knife and more not intimidating. You know, I just like it. Um, and it's, it's like everybody says, super light knife. It's kind of hard to flip. I got it really for the EDC purpose of it. I actually, um, if you know what let go is. I, I, that's an amazing place to buy knives from. You wouldn't expect it either, but you can. It's awesome. I actually uh, went on there. I ordered a Flytanium two days ago. You shipped it out yesterday. It should be here on Monday next week, so I can review that. And that'll be awesome. A Flytanium uh, Bali song. That's probably gonna be my main flipper. This will be my EDC knife right here. You know, just to have it work and everything. But my main, my main flipper is gonna be that Flytanium. <laughs> I can already see it. Um, and actually, another thing. A lot of people don't, like I said, not many people shop for knives on the let go of all places, you know. I actually found like maybe, I wouldn't doubt, 10 4X series um, Benchmade knives on there. I'm not even kidding. I found maybe 5 or 4 of those uh, of 42s. I'm actually looking to get one hopefully this week, maybe next week. And they seem legitimate, you know, has all the qualifications. And she's not afraid to send pictures, so I have a feeling it's a, it's a legit I'm almost certain it's a legit 42, <laughs> so we'll find out when it gets here, I guess. Um, I saw some 47s, and then I, f I saw a 46, of all things. It's kind of weird. Or, no, maybe it wasn't 46. Yeah, I know it was a 46. Yeah, no, it's kind of weird. But uh, anyway, so overall length on this is like 9.125 ounces. All right, the titanium pocket clip uh, that's anodized blue. It says Benchmade on it. We can get it to focus, hopefully. Uh, the blade is made out of D2 steel. The liners are made out of titanium. Uh, they're jeweled, which looks really cool, honestly. Can't really see them right now because of the, you know, this. But some sacrifices I'm willing to make to make it look a little better. In my opinion, anyways. I don't know. Anyways, that the handle is amazing. Uh, let's get to the blade. 
Blade is made out of D2. It has the, you know, the Benchmade logo right there, the butterfly, Bali song. Uh, and then it has uh, Benchmade USA and, you know, their website. And this is D2 on there. Um, that's basically the, it. It has a black DLC coating on it. Um, it's Zen Pin and it's Tank, or Zen Pin for instead of Tank Pins. And I love Zen Pins so much. I don't like Tank Pins personally. And, uh... Uh, sandwich construction. Now, I don't know if these are stainless steel. I'm going to go on a hunch and assume that they're um, titanium. I, I'm, I'm going to assume that they are, you know, just hopefully they are, you know. Anyways, that's pretty much the review. Now I'm going to talk about, like, what my thoughts are on the 51. I think, personally, a lot of people, you know, wonder, well, why, if, you know, people are complaining about the 51 being so light and everything, why, why does Benjamin keep on making them? They're making them <laughs> kind of messed up, if you think about it. So, you know, 40, 42 came out, or ended at the same time that the 51 started. The same exact time um, that they were released and everything. And uh, the 42, they said, you know, would have been insanely expensive because we were at war and everything. And we are getting all of our, you know, titanium from the area of war, the Middle East, I'm pretty sure. So, it was really expensive to make the 42s because they're full of titanium construction on the handles, you know? No G10, they're just solid titanium. So they probably would have ended up being like, just like the 87, like $400 even, probably. 500 maybe. So, to top that or get rid of that, they made the 51, the cheaper version. You know, they're like, okay, what can we do that'll satisfy them with quality, you know, materials, but very little of these quality materials. And then they're like, oh, we'll come out 32, and uh, they made it super light. It was stupid. Um, I mean, some people liked it. It's a hit or a miss. I like the 51. Not for the flipping aspect, but for the EDC aspect of it. And anyways, um, uh, so they went through, uh, and they were like, okay, we can throw some G10 on there. We can make some really thin liners that are made out of titanium and jewel them to make them look really appealing. But it's not going to be an appealing flipper, okay? <laughs> So, that's pretty much, I don't really like it in the sense that, in a way, they're kind of getting cheap on us in a way, if you think about it. But, in a way, they're also helping, because they don't want to make it overly expensive, you know. They're going to be losing money anyways, if they were to keep going with the 42 series. Um, but yeah, that's, I, I like the 51, not for the flipping aspect, for the EDC aspect. It still flips okay. I mean, if you get used to it, then it can be a good knife, you know. But, uh, that's just pretty much... What I think of the 51, if I, I kind of recommend it. When you're first starting out, I'd get it, honestly. Or look around on places like Let Go, find a Flytanium 51. I got, I just ordered that Flytanium 51 for literally the same price I got this one, $280. It's crazy. I'll do a review on that once I get it. Um, okay, so I'll flip with this knife, give some, you know, some. I'm not gonna do a lot of heavy stuff because I'm really not used to this and I don't want to destroy my hands. So, uh, review is done my kind of description of the 51 in my opinion and what happened with it is done so we're gonna go right into the flipping uh, I'll be right back As I said before, not used to it, so I'm not going to be the greatest flipper with it. Already not the greatest flipper, but you know what I mean. Not used to it, I'm not going to really do a lot of tricks that I usually do on my other knives. If I do, it's going to be very slow and kind of jaggedy, awkward. Anyways, uh, I highly recommend, you know, the 51 itself. You don't have to get the Blade HQ one or anything. Uh, just get whatever one you feel comfortable getting, you know. Um, but highly recommended if you're looking for a... a Good EDC knife, but also, you know, if when you're bored, take some time and flip, you know. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, you know, if you like the video, obviously. Um, tell me what you want me to review in the future, what, we, what, what you want me to do in the future, and what you want me to keep original to my channel, all right? Um, thanks for watching, and, uh, man, bye.